What's happening, my beautiful people? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose. And like I always tell you guys here, you'll find fragrance reviews for the common men and ladies at not so expensive prices. So I was just perusing. I was minding my own business, looking online for something to buy. And I came across an interesting one because it looked exactly like the original. Um, and I was like curious because it was like $21, although I did find it for $2.50 somewhere. Um, but anyway, this is a clone of Azaro's Wanted by Night. And if you want to know what I think about it, stick around. I'll see you in a second. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so you guys know that, well, if you've watched my channel, if you are a subscriber, you know me, so you, you know that I love, absolutely love Azaro's Wanted by Night. Uh, it's just one of my favorite. I have three, four bottles of it. Um, and I was like curious to see, is there something out there that kind of smells like Azaro Wanted by Night? Because um, there, there are a few, but none that I found that really hit the mark. So I found this one that was $20 on Amazon. Um, but then I was looking some more and I saw it, which I can't believe, $2.50, $2.50 for this fragrance. I, and that has to be wrong. Um, maybe they meant $22.50 or something like that. But anyway, this is called Azura Noir After Dark. Now, apparently I, I tried to find information on it. I found one or two reviews of, of it and they were talking about they found it at the rack store i've never seen this at the rack store um but it is an eau de perfume it is 3.4 ounces this is the box and if you look at this box and then you look at this box which is a zaro wanted by night um they look very similar they they have no qualms and then this is the Azaro wanted by night box i mean bottle you know usual look and feel of an Azaro Wanted uh, line. This is the bottle for Azura. And it looks very, very similar. I mean, they I don't know how they get away with it. I really don't. Now this is called Azura, Af Azura Noir After Dark. And like I said, it is, it says it's designed and developed in the USA. Um, it's a company called Mirage, which I'm not really, uh, familiar with that company. And then on the top, it says their urban collection. Now I looked a little bit more and I did find that they make a wanted, um, dupe. They make a, uh, wanted perfume dupe. They've got a whole bunch of dupes. And so I was curious. So I said, let me buy it. So I, I did, I, I ordered it. Now the bottle, like I said, you know, it <laughs> looks a lot like a Zara Wanted by Night. The cap is very plasticky. It weighs nothing, literally nothing. It's just a little, little cap. The sprayer looks kind of weird because everything's silver and then the, the sprayer itself is black. Um, and then the atomizer is not bad at all. But guys, when I put it on, I was absolutely surprised. This smells so close to a Zorro Wanted by Night, it's not even funny. It smells really, really close. Like, if you put them together, I don't know if somebody could tell the difference between the two. I think a Zorro Wanted by Night is a little richer, a little thicker, if you will. Um, and this is just a little lighter, but the DNA is is so, so close. You know, and for $20, eh. Um, but, Here's the, well, I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm going to read to you what, what the notes are. And this is from Amazon that I got this. It says the scent opens up on top with a fresh and spicy blend of lemon, mandarin orange, and lavender triggered with a powdery tinged, sorry, tinged with a powdery tenacious nuances of cinnamon. A bold aromatic accord of red cedar and incense emerges at the heart and then laced with pungent hints of cumin that are balanced out with softer fruity undertones. 
Cedar notes prevail in the dry down combined with tobacco, su supple leather, cypress, sweet vanilla, benzoin, iso e super, and patchouli. So uh, those are the notes. I really wish, you know, I had that talent of being able to write these, these things. It reminds me of that guy in uh, Seinfeld that had that magazine that Elaine worked for. And he would come up with like the craziest ways of describing a jacket or a hat. Um, and that, that this is what it kind of reminds me of. It is very good, guys. It really is. And if you want something that's going to smell very, very close to Azaro's Wanted by Night, this is not a bad find. For $20, it's not. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't last that long. That's that's the problem that I have. It just doesn't last that long. Um, I'd say if you get two hours tops on it, and that's just my skin. On your skin, it may last a long time. But if you get two hours tops on it, um, you're, you're lucky. So is it worth the $20? I'm not sure. But just as a shock factor as, as to how close it is to Wanted by Night, it's just amazing to me that they could get that close. But... For an Oud de Perfume, it, it just doesn't last that long. Um, so everything that you say about Azaro Wanted by Night, you know, I would wear it more in the night, I would wear it dressed up, all of that applies to this. But, you know, maybe if you just splack her up like, you know, Dedrick Hendrick says, you know, and, and just spray like crazy, maybe you'll get, you know, some more uh, lifetime out of it. And, or maybe your skin will just absorb it and just project really well with it. But it's not a huge projector. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of longevity, again, on my skin. But man, does it smell a lot like Azaro Wanted by Night. I was in shock. I sprayed it, I'm like, holy crap, this thing smells like Azaro Wanted by Night. So I just figured I'd give you guys, you know, uh, a hint because if you guys know of a really, really, really good Azara Wanted by Night clone. Please let me know. I think Fragrance World a long time ago came out with one called, I think it was Wayfarer. That might have been a Spice Bomb Extreme, but I think it was Azara Wanted by Night. Wayfarer, but you can't find that anywhere. Um, and so when I saw this and I saw the bottle, I'm like, let me get it. So for 20 bucks, I'll just spray it like crazy so I don't waste my true Azaro. Um, but again, just wish it lasted a little longer. So if you guys buy it, let me know. Does it last long on your skin? If you have it, does it? Do you agree um, with everything I'm saying? It. I think it smells very, very close to Zara Wanted by Night. But then again, I'm a little disappointed in the uh, longevity of it. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, I am feeling better. I have my spouts of, of headaches and stuff like that. But, you know, for those that, of you that know, um, yeah, I'm feeling better. Um, guys, do me a favor. Subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you have this? Uh, you know, does it last long on your skin? I really want to know because maybe it's just me. Um, or maybe my sickness is just not letting me smell it for a long time. I don't know. We'll see. But, guys, try it if you want. Uh, if you want to have, like, a little cheap backup of Azara Wanted by Night, um, you can get it on at Amazon for, I think I paid 20 bucks for it, and that was it. Free shipping, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you search for it, you might just get lucky and find it for like $9. Who knows? Uh, so guys, that's all I have for you. As always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.